In this next lesson, I'm going to show you how to turn the corner if you're making a pillow. So I've cut two pieces of fabric and I've put them right sides together and we're just going to make this small pillow so that I can show you how to turn the corner. Because I want to leave an opening in the bottom to put the pillow form in, I'm going to actually start stitching in the middle of the fabric on the bottom side. So I'm going to take my pin out. I'm going to put my fabric underneath the presser foot, lower the presser foot, and I'm going to do my back stitch where I go forward a couple stitches, reverse, and then go forward again. When I get close to the corner, I'm going to want to stop away from this edge the same distance as what my seam allowance is, a half inch. So you, you're going to kind of have to eyeball it a little bit. One thing that helps is if you hand do it by turning the flywheel towards you. That way you can slowly get up to the corner. And when you think you're about a half inch away, you can kind of test it. You can put your, you need your needle all the way down. You want to raise your presser foot and then you're gonna turn your fabric. And we're a little bit further than a half inch, so I'm gonna go one more stitch. I'm gonna put my foot back down, turn my flywheel towards me, do one more stitch, and again, I want my needle in my fabric as low as it will go. I'm gonna raise my presser foot, and then I'm gonna turn the fabric. And this time, I'm, I'm right against my seam allowance magnet guide, so I'm, I'm good. I know this is a half inch away. So I'm gonna lower my presser foot and continue up the next side. Again, when I get to a pin, I wanna take it out. When I'm close, I'm going to hand turn the flywheel, make sure my needle is down, lift up my presser foot, and turn the fabric. Put the presser foot back down, and then continue on around the rest of my fabric. I'm going to stop at the bottom and back stitch again. I've gone around the four corners, and I'm coming up to my final pin. And again, I'm going to stop sewing about right here so that I have enough space to turn my pillow and insert the pillow form or the batting. So I'm just going to continue on. When I get to where I want to stop, I'm going to reverse and then go forward again a couple of stitches. I'm going to raise my needle so that the take up lever is at its highest point. The needle's at the highest point. Lift up the presser foot and again pull the fabric out away from the machine and cut both of the threads. Now that we've got our stitch line, for our pillow, you, we already cut the ending thread, but you also want to cut the threads for where you started your stitching. So we're just going to cut the top and bottom threads. And because we're making a pillow, I wanted to show you about turning. And what that basically means is you want to turn your fabric right side out. But first, we're going to clip the corners on our pillow. And what that does is it gets the extra bulk out from the corner so that when you turn it, you don't have as much bulk in that corner. When you turn, what I like to use for corners, that purple thing, it's got this handy square at the top, and you put that inside and then push the seam out. Mm -hmm. 